like uh, hostage takers here. They're well, saying, you are now protecting yourself from anything that you could potentially disagree with. And I would ag uh, agree with you, Terry. This is bigger than college campuses. Let me see if I can tie something else into this, because I really think what we have here is, as you teased earlier, pitchforks being replaced by hashtags. Yep. The mob still exists. It gets his way. And it's not about whether or not these things are right or wrong. It's about your willingness to entertain ideas that you don't agree with. This is what happened after Michael Sam was drafted this past week in the NFL draft. Of course, you're familiar with the image this point he kissed his boyfriend um, and that inspired many people to tweet and speak out saying things that other people disagree with I'll give you an example Derek Ward was a running back in the NFL for the Houston Texans and New York Giants he said this to say I'm sorry but Michael Sam is no bueno for doing that on national TV I'm fine with it being a new day and age but for him to do that on national TV is disgusting gay or not then he said man you got little kids looking at the draft I can't believe ESPN even allowed that to happen also Don Jones a cornerback at the Miami Dolphins had this to say he said horrible that's what's a simple tweet horrible he also tweeted OMG now I don't agree with Don Jones I don't find this completely uh, offensive what Michael Sam kissed his boyfriend but for this tweet, Don Jones has been suspended. He has had to write a public apology. He's not allowed to have an opinion that anyone else in, within the enlightened crowd disagrees with. We are letting this go completely over the cliff. You can only believe one way. Lest you, and, and beyond that, you better not speak outside of the norm. Censorship. It's, I, I, yeah, it's, it's your legislating thought and you're legislating people's opinions. And I think that that is just ridiculous. However he feels, he's allowed to say it. I, I did an e-block on this earlier in the week about Don Jones and what happened there. How do, first of all, how do we know that he wasn't talking about the fact that Michael Sams was crying like a little girl for like two minutes before that the kiss happened? He could have been thinking that he was being soft like that. He was horrible. Oh, my God, this guy's blubbering like a girl. Well, how Don do we Jones, know what he was talking about? He didn't. He didn't offer. That I know. But, but, yeah. No, but I'm just saying. But, I'm, but, but what I'm saying is that you know people are. You just assume that that's what he was talking about. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. He's allowed to have that opinion and express.